Speaking of holiday treats, Michelle Yar met with famed chef Ming Tsai at Epcot's Ocean Spray Bunk to find a cranberry recipe that makes you think outside the can. We're making a cranberry vinaigrette, which you're going to help me with. Wonderful. It's got craisins, right? These yes. are all, and this is what craisins look like once they're chopped up. We're going to throw a little Pomeroy vinaigrette, which is whole mustard vinaigrette, some sliced shallots, a couple of different liquids, two different vinegars, and some soy sauce, oil, vinaigrette, a little frise, some cucumbers, and chicken. We're done. Sounds delicious. All right. Are you ready to work? I am ready to work. Let's all do right. this. So, here, yeah, in this, we're going to mix the mustard. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you a little black vinegar. It's just Chinese black vinegar. You can't get that balsamic vinegar works just as well. Okay. Throw a little bit of naturally brewed soy sauce. Mm. All right. I like this one. This is naturally brewed rice wine vinegar. So you got a good acid here, right? And it has to be the rice wine. Yeah, and you know what? You know why I love craisins? Craisins, I always say they're the new raisin. Yeah. Why? Because they just taste better. Yeah, we got they're the good sweet, stuff. Sweet, but they're also tart. Here's some shallots, all minced up. I'm not going to eat this many. This is about eight shallots. I'm going to take about half of them, so about okay. four minutes shallots. All right, so now we have, that's basically the base of the vinaigrette. The two things we're missing is the oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. It smells delicious already. It's pretty easy. Do you eat a lot of craisins? I do. I put them in my oatmeal. I put them in my yogurt. You're, not, you're not just saying that, Michelle? No, I seriously do. <laughs> All right, now go. So okay, this I'm is working vinaigrette. hard. I don't know about you. No, well, that's hard. <laughs> I'm doing all the legwork here. Oh my god, I don't know how you do this, Michelle. <laughs> all right, so you mix that well. Okay. That should be good. I'm gonna cut some chicken breast here. Just simple grilled chicken breast, right? Yeah. Little slices. What's that? Quarter, quarter inch. All right, so we got some cucumbers here. Well, some throw those in. Yeah. Cucumbers with the chicken. Here's some frise. Frise, so easy. One of the easiest veg to prep. You just whack off the end like that, and it's nice. And loose. So what made you want to use frise instead of your typical lettuce here? You know, that's a great question. Frise is, has good texture and is kind of rough in a good way. In other words, when it's tossed in vinaigrette, it won't get all soft on you. And this is done. Perfect. Right. Can I give it a try real quick here? Yeah. Chopsticks, spoon. Chopsticks. Come on. Let's push the envelope, I shall we? I can handle the chopsticks. You can try it. I'm going to plate this up over here. Like that. Take the chicken and the Going cucumbers. in for a little piece of chicken here while you do that. This is probably a cardinal sin of a chef to be picking in your food. No, 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 not at all. How's that? Delicious. And then a little bit more craisins on top. Mm. Can't go wrong with can't that. Can't have too many craisins. Awesome. Thank you so much, Pretty Chef Side. Now, we are going to have this recipe on our website, dailybuzznation.com. Click that rebuzz tab. You can make one of these on your own. Hey, not bad. Good job. Ooh, my, my.